I hate particle board. Whoever invented particle board should be smacked. You just broke that. And break it. It looked like you broke it. I hope. Leave them there, please. I'm outside. They're not going outside. Those are the ones we're keeping. Those are the ones we're keeping, buddy. Okay. What? You're gonna you're gonna step on Pearl's food. That's a given. That one you can go through off the door. Oh, you gotta be me. Did it go through the? I got you went through the flooring. So you're gonna have to cut that board. Cut break something. That didn't work. No, it didn't. <laughs> don't break the wire. Yeah, I know I don't want to. <laughs> Stupid thing's not cheap. <laughs>
the joys of doing remodels you come in to com you uh, find things that you're not very happy about so I put a plastic bar barrier down underneath the flooring of the original stuff and the plastic top with the more or less of a carpet uh, foam bottom it held a lot more stuff than what I thought it did so basically we had a little more moisture underneath here than what I thought because I thought it all dissipated really quickly after we had that little bit of water damage. Uh, come to find out it was a lot more moist underneath the flooring than what I thought. So now we gotta figure out what we're, what we're doing with that. Hopefully it's nothing too... We're probably gonna have to tear at least the... I hate particle board. Whoever invented particle board should be smacked. Because it's <laughs> stupid. Because it crumbles. And after it swells, it swells like two, three times the size. Mine only sw swelled about a half, but still, I hate the stuff. But yeah, so that's what I've got all here, and we may potentially have to rip it all up so we can put actual OSP down, so that we can lay the flooring that we have already we just kind of put it down through the rest of, through the kitchen and then in the hallway. So I don't know. We'll see what happens tomorrow morning and see. How much the de dehumidifier can pull out of the floor. We're probably gonna rip it up, but see what we can do. But we got to the end of putting the flooring in in the living room, and we had cut the under what would you call it the matting or whatever you put underneath. The other alignment. The other alignment. We cut it and we started pulling it up just a little bit and we noticed, hey, you can see where the water is at and then we, you, you, could, smell you, you could smell that there the was a, moisture. the moisture in it. So you could feel it too. Like I was walking from one side, from closer to the wall on this side, so the north, the north wall towards the south and you could feel the difference. Like, yeah, there's still, there's still moisture in this wood. So, yeah, but hey, look, we got the living room floor all done. It looks great. Now it's just, yeah, trying to figure out if, family, family, family. if we have to actually replace this, which I'm guessing we have to, just by looking at what Josh is doing right here. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's not supposed to crumble like that. My guess would probably Just, I mean, if you just look at this, I don't know if you can see that there's a hump right there. Like, it's, it's swelled a lot. It's... Again, the joy is a particle board. It does stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah. Especially after it gets wet. But I can't, but after we noticed the water, I thought it was something totally different. Until I went underneath the house and found out that there was a nice steady stream of water coming from the bathroom area. Yeah. So, it... I think the water was on the floor for every bit of a couple of days before I... Until we discovered it. Really. Because I, cause I thought... Cause we thought our Berkey. We have a Berkey. And I thought that one of the book, I think it was William or... I filled it and I overfilled it. You overfilled it. it. So I don't know if it was mixed between that or because I thought there was a bunch of water underneath there because of that. Kind of find out there's a little puddle underneath our house basically. We're a, we live on a cross base and climb up underneath there after having a hunch two days prior that I should look underneath there I just blew that hunch away or the Lord was basically saying, dummy look down there you've got a big old water issue and you're not paying attention. So. That was my fault. So now we're paying for it. With this stupid particle board. <laughs> Joy of the remodel, again. And hopefully no more headaches, but I know owning a house is multiple headaches. Yes, that's true. Especially when you're remodeling a house. But who knows, this could be knowledge for future homes. I don't know about that, but who knows. <laughs> That's true. It's the end of the first day of officially remodeling the flooring in the house. So. Hopefully it goes better. Hopefully it goes better tomorrow. 
Before I didn't go back down too bad. That was no. pretty, that was a pretty decent. It took, did took, really took, well. Took a decent amount of time, but past that. Yeah. Stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs> for watching our chaos and stupidity. I don't know if you call it stupidity. Well, the stupidity of the floor. I'm not saying us. <laughs> talking about the stupidity of the floor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bye-bye. <laughs>